All right, good people. We're back again with our uh, six or six part of the programming class VBA debug. We're going to look at how to set. We're going to look at the debugging part of VBA, uh, in particular, how to set breakpoints to set program execution, how to set how to test variables in the immediate window, and how to monitor variables in the variable values in the local locals window and I'm going to show you the things that I use the most uh, the most commonly used um, okay for instance whenever you're um, going ahead and email uh, validating this particular email address uh, I have Eric at VBA how to.com well if I just go ahead and click the button uh, this is a valid email address well what happens if I want to examine the value uh, examine the bits and pieces of the function that evaluates this value well I'd go into that's where the debugging uh, breakpoints come in handy and that's one thing that VBA has uh, does a great job doing because you could break break your uh, you could put a breakpoint right here just by clicking out here on the uh, the left margin of the VBA window. You could put a little breakpoint like that, or you press it, and what it'll do is stop the code execution at that particular point. Okay, well, let me go ahead and run this. Whenever I click the button, uh, an event happens, the click event. But since so I put a breakpoint here, this yellow highlighting means that I have stopped it. I've stopped the highlighting. Then I could press F8. Or if that doesn't work, you may want to, you probably want to use this here debug window. If you right click, let's we'll see if I can go up here to the top and right click on your, um, on your title bar or in your task bar and you'll see debug. Okay. Go ahead and select the debug toolbar. And I can't do this. I can't do F8 while I'm, uh, while I'm recording the video, but I can bring out this toolbar. And the toolbar allows me to uh, step through, step into the code. And that's the same as doing F8. Notice at the bottom it says F8. Uh, at, uh, right after step into F8. Okay, so I can go ahead and click the button. And notice that it's going to the value TXT email and when I hover over that with my mouse I can see what the value is it is very it tells me a lot of information it tells me what the text box is that is part of what me.txt email is it's equal to that okay that I could step further through it and it says well is this a is this email address and then I went ahead and I think I stepped out because that'll ask me to step overstep this function right here is email address, and it goes ahead and says this is the email address. And then I can go ahead and continue on. It's F5 or the fast keys, the hot keys, uh, F5 and F8. Those are the most useful. Now let me go ahead and click down here in the function. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and set that again. So is email address. Now if I want to, I can find out what email address. Well, I can, I can hover over the value too. So that doesn't really prove a whole lot. But uh, if you, I'm going to show you the, the VBA, uh, the immediate window. And, okay, if, it's, if you're worried about the function here, okay, what does this evaluate out to? In string, if you have it right, or, it should give me a number using this entering function and yeah it equals five that means that the fifth position of the email address there is an out sign okay so I know that it passed that that particular test step into so I'm going to the next line now if in string dot com okay so if I want to but if I want to go ahead and evaluate this if let's say I uh, this is a real real useful feature you can press control G or go to this immediate window on here on the VBA toolbar and bring up the uh, the immediate window 
Okay, that's where you can evaluate what's going on. You could type an exclamation point, and you could type in. Let's see if I don't know if by copy works because I'm in record mode. Okay, it does work. Okay, and then I'll press enter and I get 14. Enter and I get 14. Okay, and then to halt the code execution, I can press this this button. It's reset. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and uh, follow through with this or continue execution by pressing this arrowhead and this is a valid email address. Now in the next video, I'm going to talk about the watch, uh, how to watch variables. Okay, and so I. Hope you come back and uh, see us again. Again, if uh, you like this video, make sure that you comment on it, rate it, and you can get the code for this at vbahowto.com. And be sure to subscribe to this channel if you can. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.